what up ladies and gentlemen this is casual chris and i'm making this video to let you guys know my process <laughs> that as far as vocals vocals are something that i have been using a lot more not using a lot more but laying out where i want them in the song in my ipad so my i use logic pro x to arrange to uh, to arrange and add that you know the, the mix and the master i do all that with logic pro x so I do bounce that out to another computer to do the mixing and the mastering, right? But as far as the actual where I want the 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 start of the 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 uh, the voice or the sample, I've been using BeatMaker three to get that placement. I just hit the pad exactly where I want it to start, you know. Um, and it sounds like no, oh, you know, well, that's what assembly is for, but when arranging it in logic pro x that's one of the most time consuming things is putting a vocal that fits into a beat you made or whatever making a complete song i think that takes the most the timing getting that timing right where the vocal hits right where you where it should you know that timing is time consuming in logic um not so much in beatmaker 3 i mean the only time consuming part is grabbing exactly in the sample where you want it to start. I think, uh... This is super fast to lay it out here and then just bounce all the banks over to logic. And then, you know, so I don't have to sit there and, and really try to get the timing of it right by, by dragging it in this screen. I could just I think, uh... hit it with a pad. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a one shot, like a, like a snare so it, it it works out for me that's what i've been doing with my samples lately with anything with vocals or or yeah anything with vocals of mine that has been the past two months that's all been used with beatmaker 3 so um it's a combination of sampling things from youtube um with mic swap pro video shout out to mic swap pro video and it's a combination of using mic swap Pro and this mic right here to, uh, you know, grab my vocals and then put it in the song like I did with, uh, I don't need no Facebook or um, who said we came to make sense. It's all grabbed from this mic here on my iPad using Mic Swap Pro and then taking that, putting that into Beatmaker 3 timing it and then putting that into logic and then allowing you know and then laying out the song so in conclusion the beat maker 3 is what i'm using to basically make songs to basically make whole songs and arrange them my vocals my definitely my drums um definitely my pads definitely my chords you know it's all being made here so uh, it's a very powerful tool Again, I bounce all of them to another project to mix and master, but theoretically, a lot of my sounds have to sound good on my iPad. What up, everyone? This is Casual Chris, and I wanted to show you guys how I basically arrange my vocals these days, how I make sure the timing my vocals matches up with my tracks now the old way i used to do it is with logic pro x and that is just sliding it um, but it's so tedious i mean it really is tedious um, and i just found this way faster um, so this is what i do i use beatmaker 3 so here's an example of a track so what I would do here is you would drag and drop. So you would basically just drag your sample and drop it right into here. Bow. Once it's dragged and dropped, the next thing that I would do is I would chop it up. I would basically say 
where I want the sample to start. So uh, I usually go auto slice. I usually go detect. I go down to around 3%. And then from there, I just start, I just start adjusting to exactly where the sample starts. Now the trick is to put your finger in the middle of the uh, waveform, not the top. If you grab the top, what you're basically doing is you're creating a new cue point when you lift your finger. Uh, so you don't want to grab the well I didn't grab the top that time but so you don't want to grab the top because that's basically just lift setting a new cue point so what you want to do is you want to grab the middle and then slide and then you want to slide it to where the waveform starts test it out like so sorry I probably have this muted I like to meet. Uh, I think, I think a, a, more, a more satisfying aspect, a more satisfying aspect via performance. I think a, I think a more satisfying aspect. See, and so then you, that's basically how I slide it. So I get the timing right. And again, if I set in, that's how you set a new cue point by grabbing it at the top of the wave but I don't like to do that I really don't so I grab my cue points cool so now that I have the this chopped up ready to go I would literally just play this song and hit the pads I mean, it's easy as that. And from that point is there. So again, this is one way I do it now. Uh, it just, I've used it on all my songs. I made this past two months. It's just easier than my old way of grabbing the vocal and taking the vocal and then moving it over into Logic Pro and then trying to slide it and, and guess the timing of the song. That's that's probably the hardest part is is getting the timing right and having to loop it over and over and over again just to get the timing right. Um, this is an easier way. Uh, if I was, if this was a rap song, I would chop this up into bars. So da 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 chop da 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 chop, um, and then I would play it like this. Oof. Da 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 if it's if it's not on time even worse than that if it if it really needs to fine tune i'll chop it even more per word so that we, i get the timing right or at least i get it in the right ballpark and then i take it over to logic pro and stretch it and do it and it's less time consuming than having to you know slide it again sliding is just such a pain sliding and looping so Again, using the drum pad to my advantage, which I love the drum pad. I mean, I've tried a lot of MIDI controllers before, and I don't know. I just keep coming back to just using my iPad drum pad. So, I don't know. I hope that helps you guys, though, with your vocals. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good one.